Hey, out here in the garage again this morning, I had a fella contact me and ask me about some items that I had on my wall in my garage, and he wanted to know what they were and where I got them. So, Jason, this is for you, old buddy. Uh, if y'all been following my channel, you know I'm big into the hot rod scene. I've got uh, uh, the walls of my garage are plastered with uh, signs and grills and badges from where I used to work. Uh, these badges, they uh, they just seem to follow me home from time to time, I guess. But there's some uh, trophies and things that we've won at the cruise ends with our 49 Chevy pickup resto mod. I've got my walls covered with license plates. I like old license plates. There's the 37 plate I used to run on my 37 Ford pickup street rod. But I've got, uh, that's an old traffic light I picked up at a junkyard and I put a sequencer in it. And looks pretty cool. But I've got signs, stuff on the wall, all the way around. Here's some more badges that I got from where I used to work. And I have this big open spot up here that I'm looking to fill up. So the question was about, I think he spotted these dash plaques that I keep on the wall up here. Now, if you all aren't familiar with what dash plaques are, and I know a lot of you are, but for you fellows that don't know, there's some more of them. Dash plaques are what you get when you go to a cruise in and register your vehicle to be judged. <coughs> and uh, here's one of the, the books. This is a, a, it's a, a book that gives you all the scheduling for all the cruise ins uh, within the, all these states. covers all these states. And it basically just gives you information on where the cruise ins are at what the registration fee is, uh, whether they're going to have food or entertainment or, or just whatever it might be. But uh, all of us that go to these cruise ends, we all get one of these books so we know where to go and when. And a lot of times they'll tell you in that book, uh, first 50 or first 100 cars go through the uh, registration area, you get one of these dash plaques. Now these dash plaques are, uh, they're aluminum. Some of them uh, have a magnetic back. And you can see I've got a bunch of them. Here they're stuck on my uh, uh, breaker panel out in the garage. And here I've got a bunch on the side of my cabinet here. Everywhere I just put them wherever I can find space to put them. I need to get me a new calendar up there. There's a big old, that's a nice one there. But anyway, I kind of collect these. And uh, they come in various sizes and orientations. These are all, you can see this one's a little bit smaller than some of the others. And these are all kind of, I guess you would call landscape view. Here's, here's one, it's in a por portrait view, you know, up and down. But these are all dash plaques that you get when you register. And if you get there early enough, you get yourself one of these dash plaques. And I've just got them, I've got piles of them everywhere from all the cruisings that we've been to over the years. And I got a bunch that I put up here on the wall. I just like to look at them. They're, they're really done up well. A lot of these are really pretty cool looking. I think, I think these dash plaques probably date back to the I don't know, I'm gonna say the late 40s, early 50s when they came out, maybe even older than that, I'm not really sure, but they have been around for years. And the older ones that I've got are, are up here. Uh, but uh, just thought I would uh, do this little video about dash plaques. Now, I know I found out something, you know, dash plaques are related to the hot rod scene, you know, classic cars and trucks and hot rods. And then I think in the modeling world, uh, there is what's called shop cards. I just recently found out about this over at uh, 
Matt's channel at uh, Model Car Videos. I'll put a link to his description or to his channel down below. Um, he talks about um, some shop cards that was sent to him. And I've seen a couple other videos uh, where fellows have got these shop cards. And boy, I'll tell you what, I'd really like to get a hold of some of those and display those in my garage. <clears throat> like I said, I've got this big empty area back here. I wasn't going to put anything there because in the summertime when the garage door's up, you don't see that. But this is wintertime and I see it all the time. So I think I'm going to dedicate this area to my uh, dash plaques. And I'd like to start a collection on these shop cards. So if any of you fellows have got any shop cards or I don't know how everybody goes about getting these, swapping back and forth or whatever, I'd like to get a hold of some of these and uh, display them in my garage and I'd use them in my videos as well. So uh, Jason, I hope this helped you out, buddy. Uh, I think that's what you saw on my dash plaques up here on the wall. So I appreciate you asking about it. And... Uh, I think that's it. I'm done.